Welcome, everyone, to our celebration of the Sunday Mass, uh, Ministry of the Passionist Community. My name is Father Paul. It is August 19th, the 20th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our presider today is Father Lucian Clark from our mission in Jamaica, West Indies, and we're very happy that he's taken the time to journey here and help us to celebrate today. So if you have your prayer guide, please take it out, turn to the 20th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and let us begin our celebration. I sing the mighty power. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of the risen Lord Jesus be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us prepare to celebrate these holy mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are the bread of life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And for times when we have sought nourishment, wisdom, or peace elsewhere than in you, we ask your forgiveness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And you plead for us at the Father's right hand that we might enjoy the gift of the Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth to remind us of all you have said about the bread of life. Glory to God in the highest. And, and on, on earth, earth peace, peace to people of good will. will. We, we praise, praise you, you, we bless you, you we, we adore you, you we glorify you. We, we give you thanks for your great glory. <clears throat> Lord God, heavenly King, O God, God almighty, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. For you are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with, with the Holy, Holy Spirit, in the glory of God, God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things, which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that, loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Wisdom has built her house. She has set up her seven columns. She has dressed her meat, mixed her wine. Yes, she has spread the table. She has sent out her maidens. She calls from the heights out over the city. Let whoever is simple turn in here. To the one who lacks understanding, she says, come, eat my food, and drink of the wine I have mixed. Forsake foolishness that you may live. Advance in the way of understanding. The word of the Lord. Thank you. Taste and see the goodness, the goodness of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness, the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. 
Taste and see the goodness, the goodness of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, Watch carefully how you live, not as foolish people, but as wise, making the most of the opportunity, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not continue to ignorance, but try to understand what is the will of the Lord. And do not get drunk on wine, in which lies debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit, addressing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and playing to the Lord in your hearts, giving thanks always and for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to God the Father. The word of the Lord. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves saying, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him, just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. I must tell you something that makes me feel uneasy. It's when I hear someone say, I don't trouble Jesus with my day-to-day small problems, but when a crisis strikes, I go right to him. Well, brothers and sisters, I think the book of Proverbs today uh, really admonishes us about that that attitude. It said, come eat of my food, drink of the wine I have mixed, forsake foolishness, Seek the way of understanding. And Jesus echoes those words in the gospel. He says, anyone who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me. Because one who eats my flesh, drinks my food, has life because of me. Well, brothers and sisters, the food and drink that Jesus prepares for us every day is himself. It is as he would say, uh, feed on me. For if you and I can together work through your small difficulties every day, then the big crises that come along will take care of themselves. Whether they're small or ordinary or whether they're disturbing and discouraging problems and and, uh, difficulties. Several weeks ago, I was uh, running errands and I encountered car trouble. My car wouldn't start. And I said not to worry because... 
a phone call to AAA will take care of that, only to dis discover that I had left my wallet at home and my phone. Well, I was stranded. However, I just want to say, happily things worked out. But as I was driving away and thinking about the experience, suddenly I was smiling to myself. I was back in second grade. And there was Sister Anne Louise chiding me once again because I had left my pencil at home. And Mr. Clark, does the plumber forget to bring his tools when he comes to work? Well, I forgot Sister's words that day because I was doing an important work. I was driving and I should have had the instruments for driving, a phone and my wallet. But seriously, when I hear those words of Jesus telling us he who feeds on me will have life because of me. I believe Jesus has really in mind the book of Proverbs where he, it says, come eat of my food and drink the wine that I have mixed. And I really believe he wants us to, as he said in the book of Proverbs, be attentive, be attentive. You know, I am with you. I am with you. So he said, forget the foolishness that doesn't want to trouble me with the small everyday problems. No, take the means at your hand and every resource you can, I am with you. Well, brothers and sisters, I believe the easiest way, the easiest way to feed on Jesus is to remember in our hearts the memory of his passion. In his holy passion, Jesus handed over his body, prepared for our sake. And he let he, the wine that he mixed was his precious blood that poured out for us for our sake. And so we are wise if every day we begin by recalling that memory and carrying that memory through the day especially those days when we have the opportunity to be at the altar of Holy Mass when, again, in the sacrament, we break the bread and share the cup. And in that memory that we seek every day, we can find our peace, our strength, our hope, and our perseverance in God's holy love. I believe in one God, the God Almighty. Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father of all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not, not made, consubstantial with the Father, to whom all things were made, for us men of our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In fervent prayer, let us place ourselves and our needs before the loving God today. Our response is, Lord, Hear our prayer. We pray that all nations and peoples will find lasting peace in God's plan for this world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray that the ill and infirmed will enjoy abundant comfort in God's healing presence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for the intentions of our benefactors, the intentions of the, our television parishioners that will be placed next to the altar, and for Maria J. Pereira, for whom we pray in a special way at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, you never forsake your people. Hear the prayers we have placed before you today and respond to them out of your unconditional love. 
we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O living bread from heaven, how well you feed your guest. The gifts that you have given have filled my heart with rest. O wondrous food of blessing, O cup that heals our woes. My heart this gift possessing with praises overflows. O living bread from heaven, how oh, well will you bread from again. heaven, how oh, well you bring from heaven, the gifts that you have given, oh, 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 how well you bring from heaven, the gifts that you have given, 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 my heart this gift possessing with praises overflows. My brothers and sisters, pray with me now that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all the Holy Church. Amen. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions and all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. indeed holy lord the font of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to you that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Nicholas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. The Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Come and be filled here at this table.
Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Eucharist is celebrated. Let us go in peace and proclaim the Lord by our life. Thanks be to God. Thank you, everyone, for celebrating with us today. A uh, special thanks to Father Lucian for journeying up from Jamaica, West Indies, uh, to be here and lead us in prayer and celebration today. Now, also, a special thanks to uh, the fifth grade from Immaculate Conception Catholic Academy right here on the grounds of the parish and monastery for uh, being with us and celebrating with us today, along with some of our friends from the Immaculate Conception Parish. Hope you had a wonderful celebration of the Assumption of Mary last Wednesday. And this Wednesday is the Feast of the Queenship of Mary. So August is truly a, a month dedicated to our Blessed Mother. Please continue to send in your intentions so that we can place them on the altar or near the altar as we continue our celebration of the Sunday Mass. Uh, so until we meet again next week, have a great week. And may the passion of Jesus Christ be always in your heart. In Christ's name.